Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Uncle Sam, and today I'd like to talk about an important event in American history, the Watergate scandal. The Watergate scandal was a very important part of American history. It broke the trust of the American people and showed how, gov how the government is easily corrupted. Richard Nixon was nearing the end of his first term as President of the United States. He wanted to stay in control, and to do that, he took whatever measures necessary. Nixon and his advisors acted as if they were above the law. Why Nixon chose to hack into McGovern's campaign and follow through with the Watergate scandal is hard to understand, since he had won the votes of every state besides Massachusetts. However, the Watergate scandal ended in Gerald Ford taking over as president and allowed the United States to move beyond Vietnam. I remember the Watergate scandal like it was yesterday. It went a little bit like this. Hello folks, I'm standing in front of the Watergate building. The Watergate building was nothing more than an office and luxurious apartment complex in Washington, D.C. The complex also contained the Democratic National Committee headquarters. Its reputation later changed to the site of the greatest political scandal of that country. Frank Willis, the security guard of the Watergate Hotel, was doing his typical rounds when he discovered something suspicious on the door located between the basement stairwell and the parking garage. There appears to be a piece of tape on this door that is preventing it from latching. This is strange. I think I'll remove it and return to this place later. The security guard continued his rounds, not knowing the trouble that was occurring in the building at the time. When he did return to the door, he noticed it had been retaped. He then proceeded to call the police. When the police arrived, five men were discovered to be attempting to intercept telephone communications and to rob information from the McGovern's campaign and other documents. You are all under arrest for attempted burglary and attempted interception of telephone and other communications. Oh, oh man. man! On July 16th, 1973, Alexander Butterfield, one of the White House officials involved in the Watergate cover-up, testified in court that Wick Nixon had taped all the conversations that occurred in the White House. The accusations surrounding Nixon and his political staff continued to grow, and Nixon tried to claim an executive privilege not to release the tapes of all the conversations that took place in the White House, but this was deemed void by the Supreme Court. Hey, did you go break into the Watergate building? Okay, how'd it go? Did you get the information we needed? All right, goodbye. Richard Nixon, hand over those tapes! I have an executive privilege not to release the tapes. I am the President of the United States of America. Hand over the tapes immediately. He complied with the court's ruling and handed over the tapes for investigation on July 24, 1974. Once the tapes were analyzed, 18 minutes of one tape were mysteriously missing. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Richard Nixon, and I am the President of the United States. And I'd like to let you know that I have nothing to do with the Watergate scandal, and I am not a crook. After repeated claims of innocence, Nixon was clearly identified as one of the leaders in the attempt to cover up the Watergate scandal. Nixon's support quickly disappeared, and even his closest aides were advising him to resign before he got impeached. On August 8, 1974, Nixon, through teary eyes, gave his resignation speech. This is the 37th time I have spoken to you from this office where so many decisions have been made that shape the history of this nation. I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. I hope that I have hastened the start of a process of healing which is so desperately needed in America. I deeply regret any injuries that I may have done in the course of the events that led to this decision. Nixon's decision to get involved in the Watergate scandal and his resignation from the presidency has tarnished the reputation of all future presidents to sit in the Oval Office and has destroyed the public's trust in the federal government.